Hi friends and welcome back to Bank Exams today. This is our day 15 of 5 minutes vocabulary. We skipped past 2 days because of all the Lori and Makar Sakranati festivities. But from now onwards, these videos of 5 minutes vocabulary are going to be regular. Uh, unless and, and unless there we have a national holiday like on 26th of, uh, 26th of January, we are going to have a national holiday. So we won't be able to upload any video. But on working days, videos will be there at 5 30 okay so this is day 15 of five minutes vocabulary we are going to learn five new words that you have to use in your sentences you have to make sentences and uh, you understand what kind of word is it like it is a noun it is a proverb it is a verb or it is an adjective uh, so you have to identify the form of verb as well so we have the very first word which is supple Supple is something which is very easy to uh, bend or to take into different formations like the body of this lady. It is extremely flexible. It can bend to any extent and it is graceful. Flexible and graceful. It does not look ugly. Right. So supple is something that can bend and move easily into any direction like I have this a uh, wire okay this is the wire of the headphone so it can take various shapes you can roll it you can open it you can make different shapes with it so this wire is supple okay so supple but it does not look ugly if it is not it is not looking ugly or gra uh, ungraceful then it is supple okay so the synonyms are limber nimble lissom flexible workable malleable and stretchy so these are the words that you can use whenever you are writing something antonyms are stiff stiff something very hard and not easy to move or bend unfit rigid and inflexible example play dough is supple play dough is the clay with which kids play Okay, so supple, it is very easy and the children keep on making different animals and different shapes with it. So it is supple, supple, easy to move and easy for young kids to mold into many different shapes. Okay, then the second word is foible. Foible is the minor weakness in someone's character, someone's character or someone's features. Like there is a very beautiful girl, but she has a mark on her neck that is foible foible there is a minor weakness in her perfect beauty like this chain this chain seems very strong unbreakable but it still has a weak point so foible is the point uh, which reflects our flaws like this is a very uh, gentle person very kind person but still he has some uh, weakness he has some point where he gets angry that is foible so synonyms are weakness weak point failing or shortcoming flaw imperfection defect and frailty infirmity so everything that has a perfection but still something there is there is a stain there is a flaw that is foible antonyms are advantage because when you have advantage you are one step ahead of perfection Normality, strength, strong point and perfection. Example is Helen's uncontrollable temper is a foible that is bound to get her into trouble one day. Uncontrollable temper. Helen is a very beautiful girl. She is very uh, respectful. She is very kind. But her temper is uncontrollable. She gets angry really quick. So that is the foible in her character. Clear? then comes diminutive diminutive is something which is extremely small and cannot be identified with naked eyes okay extremely or unusually small like this dot this is still very small and this is diminutive diminutive which is hard to identify from a distance okay like this animal it is diminutive because uh, the normal size of the animal is this 
but it did not grow well and it remained very short and small so it becomes diminutive synonyms are tiny small little petite minute it is not minute it's minute miniature and compact antonyms will be big small big enormous giant immense large and huge example despite its size the diminutive robot was able to lift over 300 pounds diminutive the size of the robot is very small still it is able to handle 300 pounds of weight diminutive short and small in size then comes castigate castigate means to be yelled at very strongly very severely when you are scolded by your mother severely you did something wrong and she starts giving you lectures she starts scolding you that is called castigate in a very loud manner when you are scolded in a very loud manner or in a very you say insulting manner okay so you submitted a report in your office uh, there is a mistake and your boss comes and he starts yelling at you in front of the whole staff that is called castigating because you are reprimanded severely the synonyms are rebuke admonish chastise chide upbraid reprove reproach and scold antonyms are approved because when you disapprove something you are castigating that person that i don't want this uh, i don't like this but when you approve you all are accepting flatter praise and laud example my mother was a cruel woman my mother is not a cruel woman so it is just a sentence who never missed an opportunity to castigate my father to rebuke the father to reprimand father okay then we have today's last word which is perspi perspi cashious just try, whenever you get a lengthy word which is hard to pronounce try to split it into different parts it is pers p cashius pers p cashius pers p cashius is an adjective which means someone having an insight or understanding of things like a very intelligent person who gets to understand all the concepts very quickly and he has the ability to think out of the box to bring the ideas which nobody else have thought of okay so perspicacious is the ability or the uh, characteristic of having insight of things you can understand a person's emotions very uh, quickly uh, you can understand the concepts quickly that is being perspicacious synonyms are discerning you can say perspicacious is someone who is very intelligent or beyond intelligent shrewd perceptive astute penetrating observant and percipient antonyms are ignorant someone who understands the things someone who ignores the things unobservant unperceptive unattentive dull or stupid example many perspicacious investors sold their tech stocks long before the market crashed perspicacious investors investors who have an insight of the market like when it is going to uh, jump when it, it is going to go down they have an insight they have understanding of stock market and they sold their stocks just before the market crashed okay so this is all about today's video if you like it don't forget to like this video because there is just one click away press on the like button share this video with your friends and family members and if you like this video subscribe to our youtube channel okay so it motivates us to work really hard for you guys and if you have any query just write us on raman at the rate bank exams today dot com okay so i'll see you in the next video till then keep practicing and work hard